Hey there YouTube, Joe here, KE0TSC, and welcome to another episode of SoCo Ham Radio. Back in the mobile ham shack. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to uh, scan and listen to uh, digital modes. Uh, DMR, P25, uh, and a bunch of other digital modes. Um, my main purpose here is to show people that they can do this um, without having a super expensive scanner because we all know these days, uh, scanners that pick up digital modes are quite pricey. Um, and you know me, ham radio on a budget. Uh, I like to show people what works and on a budget. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over um, how to set it up, where to get the software from, and how to get it running. Um, I did have to clip a series of videos together, so I do apologize for that. I did have to go through uh, one part where I didn't have any microphone audio because I had to unplug my microphone to get a uh, part of this software to work. Uh, so I do apologize for that, but it does give you a whole walkthrough on how to set this up and what to do. Um, as always, please like and subscribe. Um, it really helps me out, keeps me going, keeps me creative. And uh, leave a comment. I do have a... Uh, a part I did make to this, it's a, a batch file that I did make to this to run run the program, uh, get it booted up and run everything that needs to run all at once. Uh, so if you do want that, uh, drop me a comment uh, or you can email me at call sign, call.sign.ke0tse at gmail.com and I will be more than willing to uh, send you that. Um, that file. Uh, heck, I might even uh, just make a link for it and put it in the description so that way you guys can you guys can download it. Um, it works really well. Um, I extracted my my DST Plus to the desktop. Uh, I recommend this this batch program that I made. I would I'd recommend extracting it to the desktop as well, uh, and it'll run just fine. So stay tuned. And I'll be right back with uh, the rest of the video. All right, thanks for sticking around. Uh, so what I wanna do is go over the steps of setting up DST Plus so that you can listen to, uh, you know, normal scanner type frequencies, you know, fire, EMS, police, uh, state patrol, uh, whatever it may be. Um, now keep in mind that some of these systems may be encrypted uh, so you may not be able to listen to them I'm gonna show you how it worked for me and how you can get uh, on on to listen to you know a lot of the scanner frequencies that you would normally do with a, an expensive scanner these days uh, this is ran me about fifty dollars uh, so let's get started uh, obviously you want to already have ordered the um, SDR um, dongle and antenna. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to want to plug it in and let Windows install the drivers if it goes to install them. Um, awesome. What you're going to want to do after that is you're going to want to um, download this program here. It's called Zadig. You can download it from this site and I'll have a link in the description. Um, and once you download this, you're going to want to you know, hit the EXE, let it do its thing, let it start up. Um, and once that happens, something like this will come up. And this is, oops, sorry about that. And this is here is going to install the actual driver you need for your PC to communicate with the SDR dongle. Uh, so what you want to do first is you want to select options list all devices which I've already done and you want to make sure that in this drop down here you want to select bulk in interface and then it'll say interface zero uh, it should say some weird driver here I can't remember what it said to begin with um, but it'll say some weird driver here it might not even populate with anything the important thing is is you want to make sure that this box says this here you want to make sure it says win USB version 6.1.7600.16385 once you do that install driver it'll say install driver here you do that let it do its thing 
uh, and then you're good. Now your com computer can uh, communicate with the SDR dongle. All right. Um, after that, um, I'm going to show you how to get DSD plus Fastlane. It's pretty simple. Uh, what you do is you go to this website, which will also be in the, the description. The link will be in the description. DSDplus.com. Uh, and you go to their Fastlane page. Um, and I just opted for the $25 unlimited Fastlane updates. Um, and you're good. You go into your PayPal. You send the $25. I think it actually it came out to a little bit more than $25. I think it was around... 30 um, if I remember right you go into your PayPal you send it to this uh, PayPal address and by the way I am not affiliated with DSD plus um, so um, I'm just letting you guys know what worked for me anyways you send the, the, the payment to DSD plus in the notes or message of the PayPal you want to give them an email address that you want them to send the info to to download this program. Once you send that, don't worry. It might take a day uh, for them to send you this link. They get a lot of requests. Uh, there are a lot of people that want to use this program. There are a lot of other videos on YouTube and online to show you how to do this. I'm showing you what worked for me and how to be able to listen to these frequencies um, if you're on a budget. And it works. It works great. All right, so you get this. They send you an email. You download. Um, you download the DSD Plus Fastlane package. Extract it. When you go to extract it, uh, it'll ask for a password. Save that email that these guys send you, because it'll have a password in it. Use that password. Extract it, and then you're good. Uh, I extracted mine to the desktop, and uh, that makes it easy to get to. And I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, last thing you want to do is you want to go over to uh, vbaudio.com and download their VB cable, virtual audio cable. Um, right here, download it. Uh, it'll do some installation stuff. It'll, it'll download a driver. And then what you want to do in order to get this to work, sorry about this box, I cannot figure out how to get it out of the way. Uh, to get that to work, you want to go to your sound settings um, and you want to make sure that your input device is uh, cable output VB audio virtual cable. Uh, I have an external microphone plugged in to do this video, uh, so you're not, I'm not going to be able to do it um, without cutting my sound off. I might do a part two video uh, with no sound following this one maybe I'll do a video right after this and just and just add it into this one showing you guys how how it works and how I'm how I'm getting traffic right now I want to explain this to you uh, so you're gonna do the cable output you select that uh, and then you're almost ready to go next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to that DSD plus folder uh, and you're gonna open it up and you're gonna find a file that's called FM24 FMP24-CC. That file there, um, if I can find it, right here. You're gonna want to hit Edit. Uh, go in, select Edit, and at the end here, you're gonna have to input a frequency. You don't have to, uh, but this is is a good thing to do. So right after the F, put in your frequency. Um, the reason why I say that is because it'll start you out at the frequency around about what you're looking for. Uh, you can also do it another way. The video right after this, I will show you how. Um, so you're going to want to put in a, a starting frequency. Here we have a uh, dual trunked system here that runs one of the control channels, I believe, is this frequency here. Uh, so that you want to make sure that that has that. And then you always hit save. Save, exit, done. All right. So then you're going to want to find the uh, program or the file, sorry, that says, um, now I created a, 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 a bash that does this, a bash program that does this, uh, but you can do DSD plus 
and start up all the other programs. Um, right now, it's going to tell me that you know the server is not listening um, because I don't I don't have the VB cable routed to this right now. So we're going to exit that. If you do want this this here, let me know. Uh, send me your email address, and I can send this to you. It makes it a lot easier uh, instead of having to you know open a bunch of these. I created this so that you can just click on this and it'll open everything that you need uh, right away. So stay tuned. Um, I am going to show you here in just a second that I am catching traffic. Thanks for tuning in and uh, stand by. Alrighty. So we are back. I'm going to show you. Um, that this program actually does work. Um, first, I want to say if you want to download this uh, run DSD batch file that I created, I recommend editing it first. It'll pull up the notepad and you'll see my <clears throat> batch commands. Um, you want to change this file location to wherever wherever you decide to extract DSD plus two. Um, if you do the desktop, all you gotta do is change the name of um, whatever user uh, you are, uh, whatever name you've selected as your user, change that and um, you'll be good to go. It'll, it'll work just perfect. And as you can see, um, to, to run DSD plus without this batch file, even if you wanted to make your own batch file, here's an example on how you do it. Um, the two things that you need to start, you need to start fmp24-cc.bat first, and then uh, start 1r.bat, and that'll start up the whole DSD plus program. Uh, so there you go, there's that. Uh, if you wanted to make your make your own Feel free if you want mine. I'll have a link in the description where you can download it. All right, so I'm going to do run DSD. I've uh, already discussed how we set this. So it's all starting up, and you'll start hearing uh, traffic come through. In my office. All right, looks like DSD fill out and as you can see here it's tuning because I have the control channel set it's checking to see what it needs to tune into because this is a trunked system so it's tuning to all of these channels at different times and if I go to this you can see a bunch of data scrolling This is some pretty. The caller. We're assuming that they're stopped at their location. The party was outside walking around. There's also a seven-year-old boy who's also on scene. Verbal fighting in the background. So this will also give you really useful information as well. So definitely keep an eye on this. All right. So I'm going to stop it there. There's a good working example of how this program works um, and how to set it up. If you like my videos, please hit those buttons, like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, it helps me keep these videos going, gives me motivation to keep these videos going. Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop a message. Uh, I'll have all the links to everything that you'll need. Um, you will need to buy uh, an RTL uh, SDR dongle or an SDR dongle um, you can find those on Amazon I'll have all the links in the description thanks for tuning in to another episode of SoCo Ham Radio 73's